Hi guys, The Dream here. In today's video, we will be watching BTS Storyline BTS Universe Game Story Summary by Excelest. I'm super excited for this because I was waiting for this video for a long, long time since the game trailer came out and then the game came out, but I couldn't download it on my phone because I don't have a space. I have like uh, 5,000 pictures and I don't have space on my phone. Uh, so yeah <laughs> so i was waiting patiently for xls to play it all through and do the video on it and i'm super grateful and thankful for her videos always i've watched all the previous uh, bts storyline summaries and everything and i'm a big big fan of her theories uh and i support their that theory very much one of the main reasons i've uh, got into bts in 2017 was the storyline so i'm a big follower of Bangtan Universe. I just love this story. I love everything about it. I love all the little details and connections uh, throughout the music videos and everything. Like Run Era is my favorite. So like that part of the storyline and everything is just so, so deeply uh, connected to me. And I just love it so, so much. And yeah, even previously on my channel, when all the highlight reels were coming, when I was just uh, like a baby army and everything, and it was so fascinating to me. And one of my first reaction videos was to all of that, to all the storyline and, and like highlight reels, and then fake love music video and all the theories and everything. I even uh, did a few uh, theory videos of my own for uh, Euphoria. You can check that out on my channel you can look it up and also later on the love yourself tour like the vcrs videos also i did theory video if you want to do that um, and look it up and watch it i would appreciate it but uh, yeah uh, I'm, I'm really, really fascinated and excited. And the last video I did on the storyline was the game trailer. And I was really, really intrigued by all the scenes and everything, like the uh, container fire with uh, Juni and like the cat with Jean and everything, like all those connections. I can't wait to hear all the summary by Celeste. So yeah, guys, get ready uh this is a long video because it's like almost 30 minutes so get your snacks ready and prepare to watch that with me i would be very grateful so yeah let's go Okay guys, we are here. I'm not ready, but I'm ready, so ready to hear all of this, like what happened, like this is the part of the story when Jin is like going back and trying to understand all the struggles that boys go through or their personal like um, uh, reasons and everything, like, like going back so many times and understand how to help them, how to prevent them from their uh, like, uh, like the worst things that happen to them, their misery and everything so I'm super super intrigued how he will do that and everything and it was all like um, explored in this uh, universe game so yeah I'm so ready Celeste take the wheel guide me through girl I want to hear it so let's go three two one and go click Hi Celeste! Yes. But before we begin, I'm going to give you guys an update on my journey learning Korean. Oh. If you've been following me for a while, you know that I've learned how to read Hangul and I've picked up a couple of words and sentences during my trips to Korea. Mm -hmm. But I want to expand my knowledge. I want to learn more, you guys. In the last month, I've been using a new app called Lingo Deer. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> I've been l using to learn like Hangul and everything. I've been using Duolingo. Uh, for now, um, yeah, maybe in the future I will use that too. It seems very helpful and, and nice to learn from it. So thank you for your recommendation. <laughs> mm -hmm. Now, one of my favorite things about this app, Lingo 
here is the in-depth learning notes. Korean speech levels and honorifics are particular foreign concepts for English speakers. The lessons include detailed explanations that help beginners understand how Korean works. Here, on the place is near the speakers are far away from the room. You can click on the booklet on the top left corner for learning tips and also okay. click on each one. That's really interesting. I have been trying to learn too but you know how is the time and everything it's not always working out but i've been using duolingo i i think i i have the handle down but i'm not really sure i picked up a few words while singing bts songs and the interviews and everything but you know yeah okay let's go oh Oh yes. This summary goes over the prologue up to the nightmare epilogue. Oof. Since I'm trying to keep this video short, it's not as detailed. So I always suggest you guys to just try the game out yourself, if ever. But it it will be game enough. Game. <laughs> yes, enough to get a grasp. Maybe in the future. Music videos, mm -hmm. albums, webtoon, the notes book, and the upcoming drama called Youth. Prologue mm -hmm. gives you a quick summary about where things are right now one-time setting with multiple time travel back. Mm -hmm. This game takes place after the Save Me webtoon, mm -hmm. when Sokjin returns to South Korea after being in America for two years. Mm -hmm. Sokjin has already realized he's been in a time loop and needs to save the boys, but continuously fails. Yes. So throughout the game, we learn more about each character to find the roots of the problem. Uh -huh. Starting with Namjoon. Like I said, yeah. Filled, then drop the cash on the ground for mm -hmm. Namjoon to pick up. Mm -hmm. This would cause a fight, and Namjoon would end up in jail. Mm -hmm. Sokjin had already given it multiple attempts, but nothing has been effective. Mm -hmm. Sokjin decided to check out the employee break room at the gas station that Namjoon spent a lot of time at. Mm -hmm. He found Namjoon's journal with entries of his daily life. Oh. He found out that Namjoon would work a lot of part-time jobs, in order to pay for his ill father's hospital oh, bill. Yeah. There was also a list of books Namjoon wanted to purchase, mm -hmm. but had to hold off on because of his budget. Mm. Sokjin accidentally knocked a stack of books, and instead of Namjoon picking up the cash first, he picked up the books first. Mm. That's when Sokjin realized money has always been a constant source of frustration and misery for Namjoon. Mm -hmm. That's why he couldn't stomach kneeling down to pick up the money, Mm -hmm. Sokjin decided to call Palco County Hospital and paid off Namjoon's father's hospital bills. He put the payer name... Oh my god, I'm getting chills already, oh my god. As for the customer that infuriated Namjoon, he let the same dialogue unfold. But this time, he steps in between the customer and Namjoon and tells the customer off. Oh Namjoon yes, go Jin. from going to jail. A month later, Sokjin followed Namjoon to a bookstore after he got off work. The employees at the bookstore treated him poorly mm. and even accused him of stealing a book because of how he looked. They were about to call the police until Sokjin stepped in and the alarm was revealed to have malfunctioned. So bad that people like that exist who think that they are better than other, other people. Oh my gosh! Jungkook's character night after night would get caught up in fights with thugs on the street. Oh. But he would actually be the one who would instigate these fights. Mm. Like in I need you. himself to get beat up, then later on jump off the roof of a construction site. Yes. Sokjin decided to find out why Jungkook would wander the streets. He picked him up from school and dropped him off at home. Sokjin listened in as Jungkook rang his house doorbell. His mother answered over the intercom and 
told him to come back later since his father, actually his stepfather, had relatives over. Sokjin invited Jungkook over to his house but forgot he had an inauguration ceremony for the Songho Foundation mm. where he'd be introduced formally by his father. In one timeline, Sokjin had attended the inauguration and left Jungkook at his place. Jungkook looked through the old pictures that were in Sukjin's room and thought of the time they spent at the beach. Mm. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna get emotional. Walking on the edge of walls or on top of lines. Mm -hmm. He would do that until someone grabs him, which is usually Yoongi. The others would look after him too, and he liked their helping hands. That made him realize that their hands were why he'd walk on the edge. Mm. If Jungkook wasn't jumping off the roof of the construction site in other timelines, he would actually end up getting hit by a vehicle. Mm -hmm. Sokjin had tried different ways to save him. This time, he didn't attend the inauguration and brought Jungkook to see the cherry blossoms. Mm -hmm. Through this, he found out that Jungkook thought it was his fault that Yugi got expelled during high school. Then we get a little flashback Aww. on June 11, year 20. Oh my gosh. The Dean found their secret hideout and caught Yoongi and Jungkook. Oh my gosh. The Dean hits Jungkook on the face. Yoongi comes in and shoves him and steps in front of Jungkook to protect him. Two weeks later, Yoongi got expelled. Oh. By not attending the exactly. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Jungkook to see the cherry blossoms, he was able to save him. Since then, Sokjin decided to start picking Jungkook up from school every day. Until one day, Jungkook didn't show up. Hoso came out from his workplace, which was a two-star burger, across the street from the school. Hoso gave Sokjin a drawing from Jungkook, which was a cherry blossom tree that they saw together with the words, Thank you, written on the bottom. Sokjin found out that Jungkook had changed his phone number and transferred to a boarding school. This was oh. all done because of Sokjin's father. Oh my. This was most likely his punishment for skipping out on the inauguration. Oh. We find out later Gosh. that Jungkook wasn't fitting in at his new school. This led to Jungkook visiting the ocean by himself, then drowning himself. Oh my god. He realized Jungkook needed someone to lean on, but it wasn't him. So who could save Jungkook? <gasps> Yungi. This story is Yungi's. Oh. So Jungkook has been trying to figure out which motel. Oh my god, I'm getting multiple ghost bumps all the time. Oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. It was Yungi's workroom. No matter what Sokjin did, he couldn't stop Yungi. I wish we could have get like video scenes of all of this with the boys. Oh my gosh. Sokjin decided to look through old footage and pictures for clues. He noticed that Yungi wasn't usually in videos or pictures. And when he was, he wasn't looking at the camera. He then remembered the time when him and Yoongi walked out of school together. Yoongi asked, when was the last time you genuinely laughed? One day, Sokjin was on his way to Yoongi's workroom when he spotted Jungkook. He asked where he was going, but Jungkook avoided his question. He remembered that Jungkook and Yoongi used to be close, so what happened? Mm -hmm. They both arrived at Yoongi's workroom to find empty alcohol bottles scattered everywhere, and Yoongi knocked out on the couch. Oof. Sokjin decided to visit their old hideout during high school, and found the music sheets hidden inside the piano's lower panel. Mm. That's when he realized what his answer was to Yoongi's question about, when was the last time you genuinely laughed? It was when all seven of the boys were together. Mm. One day, Sukjin followed Yoongi to a bar that he'd visit often. They had drinks together and chatted. He came home to watch old videos from high school and noticed something. I'm sorry if you hear any noises, yeah. it's just like water and like Jungkook neighbors and everything. I'm sorry for that. Him to play. Now, Yoongi didn't ask Jungkook to play just because, but it was out of respect. When he wasn't looking at the camera in the photos, that was actually because he was watching all of them. Oh. The next day, he tried to go to the previous motel Yugi was in, but this time the location had changed once again. Oh. It was actually the motel that exactly. was in the door. Oh my gosh. Now, if it wasn't Sokjin who could save him, but someone else, who could it be? 
No. Jimin's character has been in the hospital oh, for two years. Oh my. After his seizure at the bus stop. Yes. Oh, this is such a mystery to me. His story with the boy and everything. Foundation gathering on April 22, year 22, and he saw Jimin's mother. Sochin tried to get more information about Jimin, but realized she was trying to lie about Jimin's situation. Oh. Rumors have already been going around about her committing her son to a mental hospital. We also found out what Jimin's father does. Oh. His name is Park Jin Wook. He's one of the foundation's board members who entered as a researcher. Oh. Later on, Sochin confronts Jimin's mother and tells her he knew where Jimin was actually at. The mother later on visited the hospital and assumed Jimin had contacted Sochin. How long do I have to suffer because of you? <gasps> How can you say something like that to your child? Oh my god. Than they already were. So that same night, Jimin ended up taking his life. Oh. If Jimin wasn't saved while he's in the surgical ward, he would end up making the same choice days after he returns to the closed ward. So Jin had already tried multiple times to persuade Jimin to leave with him. But... Not once did he succeed. Oh. Jimin believes that he actually belongs in the hospital. Oh my gosh! Sokja decided to follow Jimin for clues. He finds a student's workbook that Jimin hid away, and inside was a career plan worksheet that was actually filled out by Jimin himself, oh. even though he didn't own the workbook. Under extracurricular activities, join the dance club Hosok started oh. was written. So it's clear that Jimin wanted to leave, but he was just too scared. Sokjin tried to remember moments back in high school, and there was a time where Taehyung pushed him forward to dance, and Hoseok believed Jimin could do it. Oh. Oh. This time around, Sokjin took Taehyung to the hospital in order to persuade Jimin to leave, but in the end, Jimin still hesitated and was caught in the hallway by his mother. Oh. May 19, year 22, Jimin takes his own life once again. Oh my gosh. Note, for those who are wondering, we do end up finding what happens at the Flowering Laboratorium, <gasps> but not in this game. We actually find it in the Notes 2 book. <gasps> Don't worry, all of this information is going to be in my upcoming updated BTS storyline summary. <gasps> oh my gosh, I need to watch that. Oh my god, I really want to know what happened. At the flower laboratory. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. If Sokjin stopped the accident from happening, Hosok's narcolepsy would start getting worse after May 10th. Oh my gosh. So he has to figure out why Hosok has narcolepsy and why he keeps collapsing on May 10th. Hosok came by Namjin's place with burgers he made at his work called Two Star Burger. He invited them to the children's home which was the orphanage he grew up in. Oh. Sokjin realized that the children... I'm sorry also for the elevator sounds. I can't help that. I'm he really sorry. to Kim Jung-hee, a staff there who has been like a mother to Hosok. Sokjin also found out why Hosok would always visit the Yongsan Bridge. You could see the train station from there. And to him, trains were like rockets to outer space. Mm -hmm. Hosok explained to a little kid that he could make a wish and that rockets can carry dreams too. Oh, that's so sweet! have dreams, so the rocket carries dreams. Oh. Hosok's dream was to become a famous dancer, so it would help find his mother one day. Oh. At first, that was his reason for getting into dance, but he grew to really, really love dancing. Mm. Because to him, dance was his cure. The game then goes over how his narcolepsy started. Oh. It was caused by his mother abandoning him when he was a child. She told him to close his eyes and count to ten. She also left him a chocolate bar. When he finished counting, she was gone. Now, whenever he counts or sees a mother with a child, it causes him to think of his past and collapse. Aww. Sokjin realized that Hosok's memory of losing his mother was related to his narcolepsy. Aww. Then on May 10, year 22, Hosok gets a call from the children's home in regards to Kim Jung-hee. 
staff who was like a mother to him. Mm. She had colon cancer. And because it was in its late stage, surgery had a low chance of success. Mm. So that was the reason why Hosok had collapsed on the bridge. Because to him, it was as if he was going to lose another mother. Mm. After collapsing, oh my age, gosh. Hosok would then be admitted to the surgical ward. I'm really getting emotional for this second. This story is so complex and so beautiful. I just can't. because he mistook her as his mother. Oh wow. So try to see if Namjoon would be the person who could save Hosok from falling down the stairs, but failed. In the next timeline, he came up with the idea of Jimin and Hosok saving each other. Yes. Now we begin with Taehyung's character storyline. Oof. At this point, he was able to save Namjoon, he had Jungkook and Yoongi save each other, mm -hmm. Jimin saved Hosok, and then borrowed everyone's help to save Jimin mm -hmm. from the hospital. Mm -hmm. Take Euphoria. Take character and his older sister, Kim Yun Hye, are constantly abused by their alcoholic father. Mm -hmm. On May 20, year 22, Taehyung would come home to his father abusing his sister. Mm -hmm. This caused him to take a I broken need alcohol bottle and stab his father. Yes. Sokjin tried to approach the problem from different angles, but continued to fail. He even had Namjoon get involved, but it didn't change things. Mm -hmm. On May 17, year 22, Sokjin decided to go on site for practical training at the construction site Taehyung's father worked at. Mm -hmm. This construction site is under Sokjin's father. Mm -hmm. Taehyung's father, Kim Sung Hoon, was then told by the foreman to use a ladder instead of taking safety precautions and using a scaffold. Taehyung's father ended up falling and hurting his back. The foreman shifted the responsibility to Kim Sung Hoon and tried to brush off the accident by giving him some money. On May 18, mm. year 22, Sokjin stopped by the convenience store where Taehyung worked. Taehyung ended up having to leave to go home and bring in the soup that was delivered. He asked Sokjin to watch over the store while he was gone. Mm. When he got home, he tried to wake up his father so he could eat the hangover soup, but the father ended up getting upset and shoving him away, which created a cut in the back of his neck. Oh. While Sokjin was waiting at the convenience store, in Taehyung's backpack, he found a crumpled picture mm. of Taehyung as a baby from prologue by his father. Oh my. He realized that Taehyung still cared for his father, even after all the things he had done. Uh -huh. Sokjin also found a post-it stuck on the counter from Hosok telling Taehyung to eat the burgers he made. Mm. This showed Sokjin that Hosok was still taking good care of Taehyung. Mm. When Taehyung got off work, he got a call from his sister, saying that their father was in the hospital due to an injury he got at work. Mm. The hospital wanted them to pay for the bill, so they called the father's workplace thinking they'd cover for it since he was injured at work. But the poor man lied to them, saying their father was drunk at work and didn't follow safety protocols. So the bill wouldn't be covered. Oh so my gosh. ended up stepping in, saying he saw everything that happened and that the father wasn't drunk. The foreman still didn't agree to pay, so Sokjin paid for the bill. But unlike Namjoon's situation where he lied and tried to hide it, he told Taehyung he'd pay for it. Mm -hmm. May 20, year 22. The day Taehyung was supposed to stab his father, mm -hmm. Sokjin tried to interfere this time around but ended up getting shoved away and hitting his head on something. Oh. Whatever it was, Sokjin probably got hit in the head and ended up passing away because in the next chapter, it was April 11 again. Oh my. Nightmare Epilogue is the final chapter so Oh far. my gosh. Oh my so gosh. Sokjin woke up and it is April 11, year 22 again. He was beginning to lose his way, but what became signal fires that helped him as he wandered lost were the times he spent with his friends. Oh. Each moment helped lead him to the right path. Oh my. They're all connected together by a single string and, and they're fated to save one another. Oh. Tokjin goes over the whole timeline again. He goes to Namjoon at the gas station. Oh my gosh. The whole scene plays out and just before Namjoon was about to grab the fallen money, Sokjin picks it up and hands it to the rude customer. This saved Namjoon from getting into a fight mm 
Minds. I just want it in an all big production film with the boys. I really want the Bangtan Universe movie <laughs> with our boys as actors. Oh, oh yes. Mm. He knew Sokjin was trying to hide. 
hide something else mm -hmm. and not this whole high school incident. So he thought Sokjin was a coward. Mm. He then said, Are you talking about when you spied for the principal in high school? Or were you going to mention how, because of that, Yugi got expelled? Sokjin mm. apologized, but he knew that's not what Taehyung wanted to hear. He knew Taehyung wanted to hear about this whole incident with the dreams. Uh -huh. But Sokjin can't reveal the truth about the tragedies. His repeated attempts, his countless tries to save his friends, he repeated so many moments of yes. sufferings for them. Oh my gosh. And Sokjin wondered, why are you doing this to me? Taehyung then shouts out, what's so great about being together? Who are we to one another? We're all alone at the end. Oh my this gosh. This made Sokjin really really mad i mean i would be too if you know take this out to me but mm. this ended up with him punching taehyung and them getting into oh, a fight yeah the hopes he had for all of them to be happy and for them to face coming days together all felt like it was for nothing mm. he thought he left his repeating misfortunes behind him but now see them again taunting him from just ahead and that's where the game ends Oh my gosh. But don't worry, we did get more pieces of the story in the notes one and two book. Like I said, I'll be creating an updated story. Oh, I can't wait. Oh my gosh. Wow. But that is all for today, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I did so much. Thank you. So many pieces that were missing. Yay! I did already. <laughs> Oh my gosh, yes, that was just everything. I learned so much, so many gaps that I was wondering about and how he uh, tried to, you know, save everyone and like how he, so many attempts with everyone and uh, finally at the end and the connection. So all along, all those pieces in the music videos and everything were just from different uh, timelines. That's why it, it seems so chaotic at first and everything. And we couldn't connect it properly until we get all those missing pieces and just like, wow, just mind blowing and amazing. And the storyline is everything. And I really, really want Back to the Universe, the full movie with boys as actors. And just, it would be just such an amazing, amazing movie like it would break all the movie companies records and everything it would won an oscar like just oh my god i can't wow just wow thank you xls so much that was wonderful all right guys so that was my reaction to this summary of bts storyline uh bangtan universe in the game and like i said it was mind-blowing and amazing and it filled up uh, many many gaps that i had and i was wondering about um about the game but it still left uh, a lot of room to you know uh know more from the notes like she said and everything so i will be waiting for another summary and like yeah i i'm i'm super excited for all of this and i really really wish one day we would get like full story like full movie like everything how it happened and how it ended oh my gosh i i really really wish we could get that and with the boys as actors just the boys they are the best in those roles because it's about them like the characters are them so like yeah um i really wish we could get that but yeah i just love everything about it and uh, yeah i really enjoyed that summary and once again thank you to xls for doing this um she really helped us so uh, with understanding all of it and yeah and summarizing everything that happened and it's really really helpful so you guys, I hope you enjoyed my reaction. I I know that I didn't talk much because I was trying to grasp it in all of it um, and understand it. But yeah, and sorry for all the external noises of the elevator and neighbors and everything. But I can't control that. They just decided to make a noise. Um, so yeah, guys, um, hope you liked it. And if you did, please leave it a like, subscribe and to the next time. Love you. Bye.